What is integral calculus? Integral calculus is the branch of calculus which deals with functions to be integrated. The process of integration reverses the process of differentiation. Ibig sabihin, reverse ito. No? So, I'm assuming na master na natin ng differential calculus. So, I don't need tayo ngayon sa integral calculus. Okay? Let's say, for example, f of x is equal to 2x squared. So, the derivative of this is f prime of x is equal to 4x. So, the integral of 4x is 2x squared. Again, reverse. Di ba? So, ganun lang yan. Ha? The integral of 4x is 2x squared. Okay? Integration is a process of summation or adding parts together. Okay? The process of summation or adding parts together. So, this symbol, the elongated S, this is called the integral symbol or integral sign. Okay? And this was introduced by Leibniz. And uh, he named calculus or integral calculus as calculus summatorius. Okay? Kasi nga, uh, integration is a process of summation or adding parts together. So this elongated S denoting sum. Okay? Sum or in Latin, this is summa. Okay? There, by Le Leibniz, no? Okay. Now, going back, in differentiation, the differential coefficient dy over dx, uh, by the way, no? From here, as I've said, the integral of 4x is equal to 2x squared. Again, sinabi ko kanina, no? And in uh, differential cal calculus, the dy over dx, no? dy over dx, meaning that the function of x is being differentiated with respect to x. Okay? So, ganun. Now, in integration, the variable of integration, the x, no? is shown by adding the variable x, or dx, after the function to be integrated. So, meaning, ito, this, kulang pa yan, dapat yan is the integral of 4 x by adding d and the variable of integration. So, 4x dx. So, ang basa dito is this symbol, di ba? This symbol, the integral symbol. The integral of, di ba? The integral, the integral of 4x, then dx, with respect, with respect to x. With respect to x. So, the integral of 4x with respect to x. Okay? So, i-add natin yung dx. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang sagot natin dito is, of course, the integral of 4x dx is equal to 2x squared. Okay? So, sundan nyo lang, no? However, however, the, uh, the integral, let's say, uh, f of x. Let's say uh, 2x squared plus 5. Okay? The, de the derivative of this, f prime of x, is equal to 4x then. The derivative of uh, 5, which is constant, is 0. No? So, 4x then. So, pareha sila. No? This function, 2x squared plus 5, the differential coefficient is 4x. Same with 2x squared, 4x then. Now, again, ang sabi natin, integral Calculus or the integration is the reverse process of differentiation. So, meaning that the uh, integral of 4x with respect to x is 2x squared plus 5. Equal din siya doon. So, paano natin malalaman? Kasi nga, pareha silang dito, wala naman siyang 5, but the uh, differential coefficient is also 4x. Dito, sa naunang example. Yan, di ba? The differential coefficient of 2x squared or the derivative of 2x squared is 4x. The derivative of 2x squared plus 5 is also 4x. If you're going to reverse it, the integral of 4x is 2x squared. Now, dito, sa second function natin, dapat dito, 
the integral of 4x dapat is 2x squared plus 5. So, paano natin malalaman? We need to add, no? We need to add the constant of integration or the arbitrary arbitrary constant of integration or simply constant of integration. Okay lang yun, no? Constant of integration, that is the C. Paano yun? Ganito. So, the integral of 4x dx is equal to 2x squared plus c. Dapat ganyan. Laging may c. No? This is to allow for the possible presence of a constant whenever the process of integration is performed. We need to add the constant of integration, C. Don't forget to write C. Okay? Laging meron yan sa C. Na C. That is for indefinite integral. No? Indefinite integral. Dalawa kasi yan. Ha? Indefinite and definite integral. So, itong ating ginawa is, you may see, may constant of integration. This is um, also called the indefinite integral, no? Indefinite. Sulat na natin. Indefinite integral. That is an integral with no restrictions imposed on its independent variables. This is also called the anti-derivative or the primitive integral. Okay? Yung isa naman is the definite integral. The definite integral Okay? Is an integral that is defined by the limit values A and B, for example, of the, of the independent variable. Okay? It is an integral that is defined. So, let's natin. An integral that is that is defined by the limit limit values a and b of the independent variable. Okay. Symbolically, it's like this, no? The integral of f of x dx from a to b or limits from a to b. And this is equal to f of b. Evaluate natin to in its upper limit. And of course, dito naman, a function of the lower limit a. No? So f b minus f of a. Okay? So, nasundan? Okay, ulit. Uh, recap lang. Summary. So, again, here, integral calculus is defined as the branch of uh, calculus which deals with functions to be integrated. Okay? So, here, the symbol, elongated S, is called the integral symbol or integral sign. It denotes sum, or in Latin, it's summa. And... Uh, uh, this symbol was introduced by Leibniz. No? Leibniz. And uh, he also named uh, calculus or integral calculus as calculus summatorius. Okay, in this example, f of x is equal to 2x squared. The derivative of uh, the, the first derivative is equal to 4x, or the differential coefficient is 4x. Same with this. No? Same with this. That the derivative of 2x squared plus 5 is 4x. So, we need to add C para malaman natin na meron siyang constant. No? Kasi nga, magkatulad lang sila. Eh. The uh, differential coefficient of 2x squared is 4x and the differential coefficient of 2x squared plus 5 is also 4x. 
So if you're going to reverse the process, kailangan mapalabas natin na meron siyang constant na kasama or kung wala siyang constant. Okay, pwedeng C is zero or other number. Pwede yun, no? So in this case, we introduce C. That is the indefinite integral or also called the antiderivative or the primitive integral, no? Yung dalawa. The other one is the definite integral, the integral that is defined by the limit values a and b of the independent variable, and symbolically it's written as like this. No? The integral of f of x dx from a to b is equal to f of b minus f of a. So ito, ito yung tawag na upper limit, and this one is the lower limit. Okay, meron tayong limiting values. Okay? Now, the integrals of different functions to be discussed on the next video. Okay, see you there.